Hi, my name is Erin and I'm with DoMyOwnPestControl.com. Today I'm going to do an overview on glue boards, sometimes called glue traps, sticky traps, but they're the, one of the best mouse traps. Glue boards come in two sizes. They come in the mouse size and they also come in the rat size. They're available unscented and scented. They're great for catching rodents, snakes, and they're obviously great for catching household insects, including spiders. These are glue boards that have already been in use and have already caught some little crawling insects. These are really great, um, very effective way to catch crawling insects, um, great monitoring tools, especially if you're not sure what the type of insect that you're dealing with. If you're not sure what rodent you're dealing with, um, opt for the rat size glue board. The rat size glue board will trap rats, mice, and insects. Um, good choice if you're not sure. Um, if you know you're dealing with a mouse, if you know you're dealing with um, common household insects, then you may want to go with the mouse size. The mouse size are available um, and you can lay them flat or you can fold them. Folding them is great um, because sometimes mice and snakes prefer the tunneling effect. Um, it also keeps dust and debris off of exposed glue and it keeps the insects hidden. Um, if you're going to lay them flat, you want to expose the glue by peeling off the sticker off the top. You want to place glue boards where children and pets cannot access them. Rodents and insects tend to follow along the travel pathways of the walls and the corners and the edges. So you want to place the glue boards along the baseboards. Now let me show you how. You want to place glue boards right up against the baseboards. You can also put them up against corners or entry points or where you're having high activity um, or insect activity and you just place them along the wall, you leave them there. When you're finished using them, they're easily discarded for quick and easy cleanup. I hope this video was helpful. If you need additional information, please go to DoMyOwnPestControl.com.